Hello everybody, my name is Tokreva and welcome back to SimCity episode 42. Ah, this is the episode that answers the questions to life, the universe and everything. And for now that would be building a police station. And um hmm. Now we'll go for the regular police station over here and we'll build it right here. And hopefully that will allow us to expand a little bit. Uh, ooh, we are cl cutting it close with the sewage outflow. Ah, yes. Before I left the last episode, well, before I left the game, I noticed a huge row of houses being abandoned, all because there's too much freaking crime in this city. Anyway, um, are we already selling ore? I have no idea. And we are working on it, so that's a good thing. Um, 16,000, so we can definitely pay for one of these shafts right now. So let's build one. And let's keep it as close-knit together as possible, so we don't take up any more room than we have to. Now, let's see. We need more money, obviously. And what are you talking about? Ah, oh, yes. I'll become the oil tycoon. And I will want to plop down the HQ. But first... Oh, God. Really? Back... Ah, oh, that backed up pipes issue all the time. That's just annoying. But it's looking okay. The garbage dump is doing well. We have a trade depot over here. We have one of our ores. Yeah, it's going very well now, this town. Thing is, it just needs a lot more buildings and people. When you look at the population, there's is so many jobs available. But I first... Where are they packed up then? Are they backed up here? Ah, yeah. The outflow is getting to a point where of no return. Uh... If we build it on the other road, it should alleviate... No. Yeah, that's an issue. You cannot really put them on the same piece of road or else not all the sewage will go to the same spot. But eventually we will go for the treatment plan in this town. So let's look at the water real quickly. So yeah, there's enough water for a uh, water plant and a sewage treatment as well next to it. Of course, this is a good city for that, because we make so much money from uh, oil and soon metal as well. So, where was the coal again? Um, hang on, no. Don't think about coal. Uh, let's think about health. And minus 400 an hour. Yeah, we're way too close. If I build it now, then we would not have any more money left over. So, I wanted to wait at least for one more sale of oil or ore to happen before building the wellness center the clinic but there it just happened and we'll build it next to the um, police station because this is a good area for that so now we have police co no police station my ass look at this <sighs> anyway it's time to expand a little bit on our road system so first thing first, uh, we can expand it all the way here, but I just only want this connection to the main road. Now it's the question which one of these roads will we take. I think we should take the this one and not connect it over here at least. So we have some more, uh, but do connect. Oh, that would be too close to the uh, police. No, to the ore mine, actually. So, we'll do it like so. This should be fine. And now we will start building houses on it. Because that's what we want, of course. Uh, I will leave that piece open, just in case I want to build some parks in the middle here, or some other types of buildings. But for now, this is looking going to look very snazzy. And yeah, there's some more room on the avenue here as well. Not too much I will build for now, but just enough to actually fit in with the side roads here. Hmm. Abandoned house because there are too many people dying, but we just built the clinic. 
let's see how our job's going. It's going down, but not very fast. So we will need even more people to come into town. So let's see. One, two, three, and nope. That's the avenue. Just want to avoid it for now. There we go. That should be fine for now. Yeah, it's apparently you can have way too many jobs in a city. Wait, what's your um, low wealth residential growing to medium? Uh, make sure you have at least medium density roads. So, ah, yes, here we go. Let's upgrade these first two roads then. Also because it's getting way too busy on them. So there's that. So we have some medium density. This should allow some people to upgrade their housing as well. Which is very beneficial for the amount of people we need in town. Anyway, um, yeah, we have some money. Let's add to the ore mine. And there we go. That's one. Let's see. Do we want to go? Yeah, we want to go this way. And then one more behind it, I suppose. And just build it. It will be fine with the amount of taxes incoming. So, yeah. City's looking good. Of course, we need more water. Um, well, we need a lot more water. And we have one pump there. So we shall build one behind on the other side of the road, actually, for now. Once it starts pumping, ooh, wow, we barely have an excess in now in town. We'll build one there as well. As soon as we get to the point where we, a hey, that point has been reached. So now we need to save up money for the um, utilities department. So yeah, this one, department of utilities, because we need the water and sewage treatment as soon as possible. And we might as well start on the recycling. I've, I've, we have never built a recycling center before in the town, have we? No, we have not. Detailed jobs, it's going down now. Good. This is a big problem because there usually is no space anywhere to build high wealth residencies. Which is kind of sad, but also just simply annoying as hell. Um, let's think. Let's... Get some more stuff. Um, clothes need water. Yeah, water is coming. It should be at least. Um, yeah, I think building it here or here would actually be... Here would be the best location, but then we would be stuck with the road going nowhere. But we're already stuck with this road over here now. So we need to think about how to adapt around this plant. Well, this ore building we could have max's manor we could have the voo tower it's quite expensive to do but it's also a tourist attraction it's like wait what and of course they are very full on them peoples ah we have some me medium density incoming so let's get ourselves a department of utilities i think building it like um, so would be fine. Would look a little bit weird, but yeah, no, like this, this would be a nice wing. Going to the front, I have no idea how the other wings will fit, but we do want a sign up front as well. So they might need shopping, and everyone is shopping in the same location at this moment. So where do we want this to happen then? So we have. Room for another oil well over here, which we will build over here at one point. And of course we will need some space for uh, the water plant. So could we build it? Yeah, there's, of course we need to watch out with the landfill, obviously. But let's have a look and a mosey around. Uh, you can go right over there for now. And yeah, I want to avoid right now getting a few of these roads because these roads are getting quite busy now. Hmm. So let's look. Whoa. Anyway, um, about this far, we need to have the same thing happen on this side. So this is only one and a half. So this would be three. 
So if we build it like so, would this this would exactly be too deep. Yeah. This is the ideal road distance at least, so we can remove these two. Uh, wait. Can I please get some guides? Thank you. So yeah, this is one and a half ish in distance. So do we want to connect them right here? Um, not yet, I think. But we do want to connect this one all the way over here. And is this exact? Yeah, perfect. Perfect grid so far. Uh, just this area is a little bit wide open, but um, let's th see. So this is one and a half from here. Yeah, it's about an avenue's length. So I think if we, yeah, that's an issue. So if we do it like this, and uh, let's think some more. Let's have a smaller intersection like so. Yeah, now the roof. Uh, now that I built these, I might as well just finish it up completely. So just finishing off the system of grids. And uh, you go all the way there. You have a three deep. Um. Oh, come on, give me the U. And this is a one by two block. And yeah, I'll leave these open for now. I still need to fit in a coal mine here as well at some point. And that should be actually in this one. This would be the best one for coal. So actually we have some money for it. So just let's start it right now. And we are expanding it to the right front, so we need to build it about here. Yeah, here. This would be the best location for a coal mine. Let's extend it out completely for now. So we have maximum capacity on the mine as well, like so, and a sign up there. Huh, losing money quite fast, but we are actually making money an hour now. So we want the coal storage lot over here and start selling some coal to the region as well. Uh, oh, price went up, I think, from what we saw before. So we now have a coal mine as well as an ore mine. The grid is looking fine. And uh, just one, a few things we need to be mindful of, of course, is ground pollution coming from the mines and of course from the sewage over there will be big from the oil well will be big and of course from the landfill will be quite decent so good locations for water would currently be along the river here ish not directly next to the garbage dump but close enough and i do think that we will have to build it quite soon because oh my god we are guzzling water like crazy right now, so let's take up three bonds just so we can finish up with the all the water in the town. Pumping station, yeah, this is actually a... this would actually not be a bad location. Thinking about where to build the sewage treatment plant would give us enough room to build it next to it, so... Water pumping station there and sewage treatment. We want this. There's not enough room to expand it if we build it on this location, but there will be enough room if we build it here. No, there won't. Because yeah, poo. Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to build this one here then. Sewage treatment, water pumping means I will be removing these two. Yes, I do want to remove you. I also want to remove this annoying road. This pump is going away and the water towers are going away. And because we should have enough on the plants here. Pumping and treating sewage. There we go. Should be enough water. So this is basically, yeah, there will be the uh, Recycling center back here as well. We're very close to be able to build it actually. 
Oh, Metals HQ has been approved, but I want a bottle, sh sh a bottle shot lot. Seriously, I'm saying a bottle shot, a bottle shots. Oh, depot. Anyway, um, buses. Yeah, we want some buses in this city. Let's get this going. Every road needs one bus stop at least. And at least all of these will get one for sure. Then we can see where else we need to build some of these. Uh, one here, one here. Do we need to build any on side streets? Yeah, I think we do. We need one here. Um, don't really need one. Yeah, we do need one here though. Uh, of course, we need some bus stops at the industrial area and at the commercial areas. These two and near all the power plants, the ore mines, the treatment plants, the landfill, of course, the actual power plant, uh, the fire department, fire station near the hospital, the clinic in this case. They should actually be fine and what I do want is a couple of extra buses I don't need to fill it up completely yet we only have 10,000 people so uh, they should be fine and I just need to rem well you know what I don't need to remember I just need to do it right now just expand on these areas here so we have that covered by the end of uh, so all of these roads should be covered as well now. That's good. Um, we could build a metals HQ, which is pretty nice. What's the issue with the police officer? There's no officer police problem. Um, money is coming in, so we could, if we want to, actually go straight into a recycling center. And we will. you can get alloy metal and plastic out of all the recycling stuff and actually sell that on the market as well uh, so which would mean to add another depot to one of the buildings but what I think we're going to do is actually um, mine or yeah let's build the metals HQ and where should we build it not a lot of room in places um, yeah this is going to be annoying finding room for all those buildings so let's see ah we can actually build the petroleum headquarters though so how is it looking for jobs oh wow that's actually almost dead on we just have quite some people oh what did this really just happen not enough places to ship freight huh so we do not have that many commercial buildings mm, let's see so we have a commercial demand yeah i think and we have unfilled medium wealth jobs. So this can, you know what, this is going to be an entire commercial block as well as this. This means that we have a shit ton of jobs available, but with um, some more density increases, this should be able to get fixed relatively quickly. Let's at least make this road medium density as well as this whole road. Wow, now we can get, oh wow. It took a while, but now we can finally get a gambling house. So let's get all of our original streets onto medium density. Here we go, some more here. This will allow us to expand our city upward instead of just sideways. Medium, this is already there, this is not medium medium and medium not that this these buildings will really increase in density that much but um, yeah making them high density is not yet going to be useful so this is our shopping district for now we have uh, all right we will get our metals HQ out of the way there's a fire in the city I think what we want is a second fire building a second fire truck just in case but it's unlike police station and the clinic you really don't need to expand the fire station as much until you get the really really high level uh, stuff and uh, 
Uh, storage is full. On what is storage full? Really? How can this be full? Oh, we don't have the trucks to deliver, I suppose. Oh, we do. Well, we have one truck. Um, metals HQ will be fine if we build it, like, right here. There we go. How is population doing with jobs? Lots of jobs suddenly available. Oh, yeah, of course. All the, all the shops need people to work as well. So, actually, let's continue with some more residential areas. There's another, and here's another. Let's fill this up. Townhouses, yay. Medium wealth, medium density. It's happening. Uh, let's see, we can expand your reach quite in much. Uh, I think I need the... Oh, there's not enough room to... Hmm. There's not enough room here to expand this park. Except for sideways. Um, I do need to zoom in to actually get this done correctly. Uh, let's have two of these. Spread the wealth joy around. And yeah, I guess I can have this one here as well. A bigger park. How many people are coming there every day? At the moment, 161. So yeah, we have our industry is kicking up some more uh, metals hq we need a total of 160,000 daily profit to get to the point where we can actually add to the hq and of course we want a smelting division it's going to be tough locating everything everywhere uh, at the same time though i want to get started on the other um, hq which would be the petroleum one there we go and uh, you also have 160,000, but at the same time, we are going to expand our oil business right now. Uh, this is actually not the... well, it's actually... Seriously, it's not that much a difference if I build it here? Okay, that's fine. Then we will build you here. And let's extend some roadage. How much room would we need for this? About that far. So I... Ah, uh, no, I cannot build that anyway. I can build it like so. And have enough pump jacks on this building as soon as possible. And we need it a little bit further. There we go. Now we should already be at 10 in total. Without issue. And uh, we actually don't have money to build another one. Wow. Doing well. Um, yeah, we don't have money for a... Another one of you either. So let's make some more money so we can get the petroleum building going. That would be nice. How is the oil in? Yeah, you actually see the oil disappearing from underneath this well, which is quite cool. And if necessary, we can actually remove some roads, replace them and start pumping these areas as well. That's also a possibility. And let's see. Yeah, we need some more money. Um, your issue is night is approaching. So, in other words, the night is dark and full of terrors. Anyway, um, oh, population is growing. <laughs> Jobs needed as well. And seriously, this is all the industry we have in town. This is actually all. And we still don't have places to ship our freight and such. So all we need is more people. So let's get some more, yay, right next to the sewage treatment plant. So this would be downwind from the sewage treatment plant. Or this is actually downwind, but that's fine. Uh, some more here and here, yay, more people. Monthly mining, 96,000. We need a second ore mine to fill that up. Um, actually, what you need is another truck because this is not working fast enough for us. And you also will need a truck and two more pump jacks. So first we build the pump jacks. So let's give me some more money. I hope I have enough room for a refinery in here. Otherwise we'll have to build it there, I guess. Or we have to remove a small part of this oil well and re rebuild it behind here. Which is quite feasible as well. And we have 11,000. 
With only 216, I can't afford to build a truck depot right now. High commercial demand. Oh my. In the, uh, yeah, I can actually finish this up with commercial. Even though we don't have the workers to work there right now. Uh, oh, we do need some more medium wealth people as well as high wealth, obviously. And to get medium wealth, we can have some more parks in the city. I think we can have some over here in this corner. And actually, what I want is a little small area with high wealth. So that is what we're going to force on people right here. There we go. And now we shall also build some housing along the edge here so we can force people to become high wealth on the outside. This will all be high wealth. Quite feasible for us. Uh, what's your issue? Lots of health issues and the clinic is quite full. Uh, what we need is this, 9 of 25, yeah, what we need is a extra bay and some ambulances. Here we go, some extra ambulance, what's your deal? Are you full? Yes, you are full. So, let's build a jail cell on the roof. Can I build another? No, I cannot. <laughs> and we want a sign and a flag, of course. I do love some flags. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love some me some flags. Anyway, um how are you doing, sir? Mm, not a lot yet, but we're still trying to transport it away. And how many sh you only have one truck regardless, so hmm. Uh, there's a big traffic jam all the way over here. Hmm. Where's all this traffic going? I guess it's going into the city. Um, yeah, what we need to do here is actually high density this up to avoid all of this from happening. Um, oh, I cannot make this into a suspension bridge just yet in the future though, but this should alleviate a lot of the uh, transportation issues in that part. 57,000 is actually from today because that's a good one. Um, storage is full, oh great. And you're not full right now, but you are. So what we need to do is actually add another one to this building and add a truck. Just so we can make sure that all the oil is at least moved somewhere. And when we get the refinery, we can add onto that as well. What is this? High density construction. Holy crap, that's going to need jobs. Right now we still have uh, quite some jobs available. Uh, these will obviously one easily become, um, if they have room to do it anyway, become the next level of building. I mean, um, high, medium and high density afterwards. Storage is full of the coal mine, but it's delivering its stuff already. So how are you doing, sir? And it's still building up. Yeah, we can easily build a second ore mine over here, but that does cost us lots of money and workers. Especially workers is going to be a problem until everything here expands into medium um, density. Which it is doing on this street at least, so there's a good thing. Um, worried about crime. What are you guys doing? Uh, making a lot of profit, so... Water seems fine, and uh, sewage seems fine. Oh, and we can upgrade our city hall again. So what do we want to build on it? That is the question. Right now, in this town, I feel the Department of Finance, but that would leave us with, oh, well, that's actually quite fitting that we built that. But that does cost us a lot of room. Because it has to be a wing on the building and we can build a department of transportation if we so please can we actually build something behind without destroying anything no we cannot uh, well education would also be fine but I would first st I, was, I actually need to get a grade school out but we're going to do that in the next episode I 
want to thank you all for watching uh, because it's it's been fun this city is really growing very well and industrial density seriously high density industrial that's so cool um, the industry is working out the city is still quite um, low to the ground but it should rise up at one point I can actually build my own house now which is quite cool and yeah I want to say um, like the video subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys later